out to weather weather report and uh, this is actually a feature of our of our youtube channel one of the different dimensions of our channel that we actually take a look at the weather periodically um, we are tracking um uh, uh upcoming possible snowstorm in the new mexico area and if we actually take a look um, at our weather map here, we can actually see that um, based on our weather forecast, we do see a system that's actually moving into the New Mexico area um, sometime um, um, uh, in the middle of um, towards uh, Saturday afternoon into Sunday morning. And as this system moves across, it's actually going to be impacting possibly the lower um, Mississippi Valley. Um, but definitely the southern Texas area is going to be anticipating rain because we do see that a um, Sunday to Monday transition, there is a cold front into going into the Gulf of Mexico. But um, more interestingly, um, as far as Albuquerque and the uh, northern western area northeastern western area of new mexico is anticipating some degree of snow um, going forward for starting possibly around the late afternoon on saturday into early morning on sunday um, a few inches of snow in the lower elevation areas and possibly up to a half a foot to a foot of snow in the upper elevations. Um, but it's going to be quite a significant event. If we actually take a look at our Bowergram here, uh, we can actually see um, the corresponding drop in temperature as well as um, interaction and, and convergence of this system as it makes its way um, into New Mexico. It will also migrate into um, the area of northern in Texas, um, area uh, cities such as Lubbock um, may receive quite a bit of snowfall also. So as this low pressure system makes its way um, across this uh, region, um, we do anticipate quite a bit of snowfall um, in this area. But for as far as New Mexico is concerned, it's going to get um, qu quite a bit of wintry powder um, on late Saturday night into Sunday morning. And we do see the pressure actually returning back to normal, um, actually increasing throughout the day on Sunday, um, but there's going to be a leveling off of the temperature um, going into Sunday. But uh, for most of the remaining, going into the weekend, it's going to be mostly cloudy, but we do anticipate um, a significant event here um, where in the late hours of um, Saturday um, into Sunday, we do anticipate quite a bit of snowfall. And then we can actually take a look at our uh, anticipated um, um, snowfall for the Pacific Northwest um, and precipitation for the Seattle area. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, so we're actually going to be taking a look at the weather in the Pacific uh, Northwest um, going into the weekend. And we're, here we have um, a few projections, there is a significant um, low pressure system that is actually um, just off the coast of uh, Seattle and Portland. We do anticipate that going into next week, there's going to be a cold front that will eventually migrate um, into the Pacific Northwest area. Um, but for the time being, we do anticipate significant thunderstorms and rainfall in the middle of the day, um, starting at about um, in the early morning of Friday the 8th, going into um, towards 7 p.m. We do anticipate quite a bit of rainfall uh, for the Seattle, Washington area. And we're gonna be monitoring pretty closely. And if there are any changes, then then we'll give you a definite update. But we can actually see the convergence of the temperature um, and the pressure um, uh, here as we go into Friday, um, we do anticipate um, uh, quite a bit of um, sunshine on Sunday. Um, it will clear up a bit and then possibly rainfall again in the middle of the day, but only for a, a very limited time, uh, time span. So we're looking at early morning on Sunday into possibly 2 p.m., 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. on uh, for Sunday the 10th, but quite a bit of thunderstorms, heavy, heavy. We anticipate uh, midday for Seattle. Um, there'll be significant thunderstorms, severe thunderstorm activity in the middle of the day. Uh, that's when the convert we can actually see the convergence of the temperature and the pressure here. And then it will pretty much clear up. It will be a little cloudy in the later night. And then um, it will be uh, 
pretty nice. It will be a nice sunshiny day uh, for Saturday, but then we'll be have we're going to we'll migrate into more cloud cover and, and rain in the middle of the day on Sunday. But we can actually see the system actually making its way across um, the states of Washington and Oregon and Northern California um, going into next week. We actually see the tail end of this uh, low pressure system that is actually making its way along the coast. And that's actually interacting uh, with the coastline here. So we do anticipate um, there will be um, uh, quite a bit of precipitation on Friday. It will clear up on Sunday, but then anticipate a repeat somewhat of Friday's rain and precipitation activity on Sunday. Um, we had mentioned earlier too that um, with the system that's interacting with the Southwest as it makes its way across, uh, we can actually see it um, becoming uh, this low pressure front that's extending all the way down into the Gulf of Mexico. We do anticipate that this system that is actually uh, migrating um, into the uh, New Mexico and Northern Texan air, Texas area may impact um, the lower Rockies with uh, some uh, additional snowfall also, uh, but we'll have to wait and see to see what to what extent that will be. But we do have a significant high pressure system here um, and wind tends to flow away from high pressure systems. So we have to wait and see to see what kind of impact um, that low pressure system moving into the Southwest is gonna have on the weather in the lower part of the Pacific Northwest. But for the time being, we do anticipate quite a bit of precipitation on Friday and Sunday with sunny skies on Saturday. We can actually take a closer look at our model here um, for the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. So, ladies and gentlemen, so if we actually take a look at our European model for anticipated precipitation and freezing rain for the Pacific Northwest area, um, we actually see the um, the effects of what we anticipate. Um, so, this model um, will actually take us through um, its forecast to take us through starting on um, uh, Thursday. And it actually takes us all the way into the middle of next week, which is Wednesday. But if we actually take a look at what's actually happening, we see the accumulation um, starting on Friday with a significant rainfall as we had anticipated um, from about 5 a.m. to most of the day in the Seattle area. Um, between the hours of 7 a.m. and 5 p.m., um, PM, um, there's a hundred percent precipitation chance for the for the Seattle area and surrounding um, um, uh, neighborhoods and cities. Um, as we go into, however, Saturday, we do anticipate that it will be mostly sunny for most of the day, with the temperatures in midday at about forty one degrees. Um, it'll be mostly into the 40s on Saturday, but mostly sunny. And then we do anticipate as we get it into um, Sunday, uh, we do anticipate that there'll be rain from about 10 a.m. to about 1 p.m. And from about 8 a.m. to 2 p.m., there's going to be up uh, 90 to 93 percent chance of precipitation in the Seattle, Washington area. So we are actually taking a closer look at um, the precipitation model here, and we do anticipate in the upper, in the upper um, uh, higher elevations, um, we do anticipate that uh, there will be a transition of that freezing rain into snow. Um, but we do anticipate that there's going to be significant thunderstorm activity in the middle of the day on Friday with uh, mostly forecasted um, sunny and, and um, semi-cloudy skies on Saturday with possible additional precipitation on Sunday um, for the area um, in, the, in, the, in the Seattle, Washington area. But it's going to be quite a bit of transitioning back and forth between freezing rain and, and uh, some snowfall accumulation at the higher elevations. Um, so we are actually taking a closer look at what will actually happen in the Pacific North West, and then we will actually post updates for you. And um, please go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. And we do appreciate uh, you watching this uh, update for um, pending and upcoming snowstorms and precipitation rainfall, possibly uh, for the uh, Rockies as well as the Sandia Mountains um, in the New Mexico uh, area. 
Yeah, so if we actually take a look at this model, it's actually the European model for uh, snowfall anticipation. We're actually taking a look at um, the migration starting on the 7th, the latter part, um, actually the 8th, which is a Friday, um, going into um, um, next week. And we can actually see the system making its way um, from Saturday night into Sunday morning. And we do see as a system makes its way across, there's going to be um, quite a bit of snowfall. Uh, we do ante anticipate uh, in the uh, higher elevations at the Sandia Mountains, there'll be a lot more snowfall anticipated in the area. Um, there's going to be um, in the afternoon, there will be a significant drop down to about um, 1,009 um, hectopascals. And then um, that will actually, um, the, the winds will actually pick up quite a bit um, behind this front as it makes its way through, um, which is pretty interesting. And as it makes its way through, it will actually migrate into the northern part of Texas. So there's going to be quite a bit of snow deposited in the, um, in mostly in the higher elevations, but we anticipate um, that in uh, areas of Taos and Albuquerque and other areas in the northern section, primarily in the nor northern um, eastern section of uh, New Mexico, we do anticipate quite a bit of snowfall and then it will migrate into the latter part of um, Sunday into the Texas area. And consequently, we do anticipate as that the system makes its way across, depending on whether it makes a, a more uh, northeasterly track or versus uh, a more easterly track, we do anticipate um, heavy rainfall in southern Texas going into the Gulf of Mexico as the system actually makes its way moving across. So this is one um, upcoming storm system that we, um, uh, do, we do anticipate that will bring quite a bit of um, freezing rain and, and snowfall to the uh, southwest area, primarily um, New Mexico and northern Texas. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, well, I just wanted to take a closer look at the radar and satellite imagery coming in for um, um, our forecast for this weekend. So if we actually take a look at Friday um, and Saturday and Sunday, and we actually take a look at the snowfall um, and rain anticipated um, radar map here. Um, we do see quite a bit of interaction with the Pacific Northwest in with respect to that low pressure system that is just off the coast of Vancouver, Seattle, and Portland. And it is interacting with the coast and we do anticipate quite a bit of snowfall um, in the upper elevations and um, um, as far as the mountains there in the Washington, Oregon area. And as we take a closer look, we do see that system, uh, the weather changing um, coming up from Mexico into the New Mexico area with that low pressure system eventually migrating um, into the area of um, um, Albuquerque, um, Alamosa, Denver area. Um, but we do see that system um, the weather changing quite a bit in the southwest as well as the Pacific Northwest also. But we can actually see here going into Saturday on this satellite uh, map, um, we do see that the weather will be changing as we can see the snowfall um, is migrating towards the latter part of, the, of, the, of Friday night into Saturday morning through Salt Lake City. And then um, as we see, um, uh, we'll take a closer look at the system. Um, we actually see it migrating into, um, into, into the areas of Northern Arizona and Colorado. So we do anticipate that um, there, because the, the so many, quite a few high pressure systems that are going to be interacting with these low pressure systems going forward, uh, we can actually see that low pressure system making its way into the New Mexico area. And with that said, we anticipate that as it makes its way through, um, it's going to interact um, with those high pressure systems in the Pacific Northwest that are pretty much bringing sunny and clear skies. But we do anticipate that as, as that system migrates along the northeastern part of New Mexico there, as you can see, it's actually going to bring quite a bit of snowfall to um, 
the north uh, northeastern and northwestern area of New Mexico and then also the north northern section of Texas too um, you can actually see that it actually as it makes its way across um, it's actually migrating into the into the northern part of Texas and with that said um, we anticipate as the system makes its way um, east um, what will actually happen also is that it's going to be going to um, uh, create quite a bit of thunderstorm activity in southern Texas Houston area into the Gulf of Mexico um, going into um, Sunday and Monday so that is what our, we're actually taking a look at it on the, the radar at this time so we do anticipate that there's going to be quite a bit of snowfall activity in northern uh, New Mexico and then um, Saturday and um, there's going to on Friday there'll be significant thunderstorm activity in the Pacific Northwest with a clearing out on Saturday with additional precipitation um, for um, for the Pacific Northwest on Sunday. So that's what we're actually taking a look at um, going forward for um, this uh, weather forecast. Thank you so much.